Okay, so somebody has asked me on a previous video, I don't remember who it was, they asked, why grow sunflowers in the garden? What? Well, let me tell you a few reasons why. This year, we have grown sunflowers in our vegetable garden. So, as you can see, we've got quite a few sunflowers. I got a couple of different varieties growing this year. Uh, we planted a little bit later than I think they suggest in the uh, season, but why grow sunflowers? For one, the number one reason I grow sunflowers is to attract honeybees. They will attract a lot of bees to your garden and bees are the key for pollination for a lot of fruits and vegetables. I'm out here working a lot in the garden and it's always nice to have some fresh cut flowers for your wife to thank her. So that's another reason why we grow sunflowers. And of course, they're extremely easy to grow. Um, there's also a, a great sunflower project that's on the internet you can search for. Uh, they have a, a thing they do counting uh, the honeybees next to uh, sunflowers. This is one big flower that attracts honeybees. Um, this also you can grow for feed for the regular birds. Um, these sunflower seeds are great for roasting. Let's check out our jumbo sunflower and see how it looks. Here's our uh, huge sunflower that has grown. It is so heavy. It is just bending over because that is just how many sunflower seeds it is on here. Let's uh, get a little bit closer and take a little bit closer look of what we have on the sunflower head. I lift it up here. If you look closely underneath these little flowers on the ends there are sunflower seeds underneath there this thing is just loaded with sunflower seeds so that's one reason to grow the enormous mammoth sunflowers in your garden because you'll get a ton of sunflower seeds and these are the kind of seeds that you can find in your grocery store that are been roasted and salted are these sun, kind of sunflower seeds. The other sunflowers I was showing you, the smaller ones, do not make these kind of uh, sunflowers. And then if you look closely here, there's quite a few pests on the sunflowers. Another reason to grow sunflowers is they attract the aphid, aphids and other bugs in your vegetable garden. And why is that a good thing? If the uh, sunflowers attract these aphids and other pests that are in your garden, that brings these pests away from your, say, your squash, your tomatoes, cucumbers and whatever else you may have growing so away from your fruit and vegetables and towards the sunflowers but the sunflowers are not affected at all from what I've experienced growing them to any kind of pests so they have very little uh, disease problems. Um, I've never experienced any disease issues with sunflowers. So as you can see we have quite a few sunflowers growing here. But have you seen the prices of a freshly cut sunflower in your local uh, flower shop? This, this one plant right here has several heads of sunflowers already on it and still more 
are growing as you can see here so this is much more cost effective to grow your own sunflowers and this is also extremely fun for kids if you have kids this is one of the easiest things you can grow if you can't grow anything else grow some sunflowers you'll see how quickly they grow and the kids will have so much fun growing sunflowers so there's a lot of great benefits of growing sunflowers for food to attract bees to keep pests out of your garden great for feed for your uh, livestock mine chickens uh, and they look great aesthetically pleasing to the eye and hey you can have cut flowers in your house and sunflower seeds are very very easy to save probably one of the easiest things to save just let the heads dry out and save the seeds you can replant them roast them eat them whatever you want so I suggest grow a few sunflowers and you'll have tons of bees in the garden to help you pollinate your squash and zucchini because I'm not a fan of hand pollinating anything in my vegetable garden I don't I just don't have the time for that so sunflowers is the next best thing As you can see, the honeybees just love the sunflowers. So that's why we grow sunflowers in our vegetable garden. Try a few and hopefully you'll have the same success as we do this is one of the easiest things to grow they get quite tall great for our border planting along our fence like we've done here so uh, grow some sunflowers and hopefully you'll have a lot of bees in your garden as well We didn't really plant that many sunflower seeds actually this year. It was kind of a last second thing. I almost forgot about planting them, but I'm glad we did. Next year I'll probably do a little better job at planting these, but uh, they make great border along this fence here. All right, so it's real simple to cut the sunflowers for uh, cut flowers in your house. It's starting to rain here another summer shower which is most welcome so I'm just gonna pick a few sunflowers here I just got these uh, pruners real simple to use cut make sure you cut them uh, long enough so they'll be in the vase and uh, it's real simple there you go all you got to do is stick them in one of your favorite vases and you have a, a nice bouquet of homegrown sunflowers pretty nice Get a few more picked out there to fill up this vase a little bit better and we'll be set so uh thanks for watching have a great day